this season on Total Divas. <laughs> you and your ego were offended. Why should I waste any more time on you? I didn't mean any disrespect whatsoever. Drama happens here. Hey guys, E's Total Divas is back for a brand new season. So let's take a look at some of these sneak peek clips and I'll fill you in on what the ladies have been up to since last season. Starting with that cliffhanger, the love triangle between Nikki Bella, boyfriend John Cena, and ex Dolph Ziggler. Well, you can expect this storyline, which was pretty fake in the first place because Dolph Ziggler has had a girlfriend the entire time, and you know Nikki and John are not going to break up, to be wrapped up pretty quickly and just really become the catalyst for John and Nikki to keep talking about marriage. I kind of felt good knowing someone wanted me to have their babies. We can talk about marriage. Oh my gosh, are Nikki and John finally gonna get engaged? I can't tell you how happy that would make me. But speaking of things that I really loved, we're also gonna see this season Nikki Bella become WWE's longest reigning Divas champion. It's a huge career milestone, but she is marred with injuries. She is currently out of the ring. She just posted a photo of herself this morning in a hospital gown and a hospital bed. WWE has been very quiet about her injuries. I'm assuming because they want us to watch it play out on Total Divas. Day I tied for being the longest training Divas champion. I really think you should go with the title. I don't like that he's like, I'll marry you, but my drama never ends. On a little bit of a happy note, though, someone is nursing Nikki back from her injury. She and John have adopted a little French bulldog and named him Winston. He looks just like Josie. And speaking of Josie, her mom, Brie Bella, will be on this season as well. Now, we saw a lot more of her husband, Daniel Bryan, last season because he was injured. He is still out, so expect to see the couple together. And Natty is also dealing with an injury with her husband. You're telling everybody that I'm depressed. I don't want people coming over here feeling bad for me. Don't bring me down, try to lift me up. You've worn out, you're welcome. You're my number one. Uh, clearly not. While Daniel Bryan and Tyson Kidd's injuries keep them out of the ring, Eva Marie is finally getting into it. We saw her train last season, and we are definitely going to see some of her matches from NXT on season five. She also has a brand new partner in crime on this show, a brand new cast member. Her name is Amanda Sacamano. Now, you will definitely remember Amanda if you watched WWE's reality show Tough Enough this last summer. Think American Idol, but with Paige as the Simon Cowell. She should be the Paula, but she's kind of a jerk, you know? Well, Amanda was a contestant on the show. She didn't win, but her overall interactions with the contestants and being the catalyst for all the drama that happened on the show landed her a WWE contract and a spot on Total Divas. We see from the clips that Paige is not happy about this. She and Amanda had kind of an interesting relationship on Tough Enough. Paige was really, really upset one week when Amanda got saved just for being hot. That's right, guest judge The Miz saved Amanda from being eliminated on Tough Enough just because she was hot. That didn't go over so well with Paige, and apparently Amanda being signed with a contract and joining the Total Divas cast doesn't go over so well with her either. She's our newest WWE diva. You're gonna be wrestling. Yay. I don't need friends like that. I'll go to Lone Ranger for a while, I don't care. I feel like I'm fine. Are you fine? Are you thinking of breaking up with Kevin? This is the reason why I don't have boyfriends in the first place. Now, one person we definitely are not going to see this season is Naomi Trinity and her husband, John. They have been cut from the cast, and I have to say I loved her storyline last year, showing her as a stepmom and showing their real lives. I think the other ladies have such fantastical lives that we may miss Naomi's down-to-earthness. So we love you, girl, and I'll keep you all posted on what she's up to in the meantime. And speaking of families, Rosa Mendez is starting one this season. She is all kinds of pregnant, due in February with a little girl named Jordan, and she will be getting engaged this season. You're gonna see it on the show. Her fiance will surprise her in Paris. The entire cast is there. They actually have some great times living it up. They go to Moulin Rouge and all kinds of fun things. So I cannot wait to see the ladies trip to Paris on the show. Here's to the originals in Paris. How is she gonna have a baby and a career? Will you marry me? <laughs> Well, you will definitely be seeing me and my co-host on AfterBuzz TV's Total Divas After Show. We go on live right after the new episodes air, and I can't wait. It's going to be a great season. Starts January 19th on E! Don't miss it. Also, please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up, because you know you love the Divas as much as I do. Thanks for watching.